A growing number of police departments across the country are building up arsenals of military equipment, and many of them now own armored vehicles. But the latest jurisdiction joining that list might come as a surprise. The University of Berkeley, California, known as a center of anti-war activism, will be sharing an armored personnel carrier with the city of Berkeley and adjacent town of Albany, paid for by a grant from the Department of Homeland Security. FSRN Judith Sher reports. At a recent city council meeting, residents and Berkeley council members said they were concerned police would use the armored personnel carrier to intimidate the public. They pointed to the armored vehicle the county sheriff's department stationed at Occupy Oakland's May Day demonstration. Resident George Wright says the tank could be just the beginning. If Homeland Security can gift an armored personnel carrier, can't the PD be gifted with another tank or two, a fleet of drones, or anything else they want or need? Why? Why? So that they are equipped to win a war against the citizens of Berkeley? Police Chief Michael Meehan defended the purchase. He told FSRN it would keep his officers safe, especially when they face gunfire or a hostage situation. We live in a very, unfortunately, armed society. Uh, You have a country like the United States that has between two and three hundred million guns. They're everywhere. And our officers, like employees everywhere, deserve to be safe. There's a limited number of ways to protect our officers, especially when you're talking about from gunfire. Uh, And however much I would love to have something that doesn't look military, that still does the same job, it it is what it is. The the equipment that is available to us is what what we avail ourselves of. I don't want to put our officers in harm's way unnecessarily. If their job is to go into danger, I want to make them as safe as possible. Council members said they likely could not refuse the vehicle since the police followed city rules, which mandate public disclosure only when grant applications require the city match grant funds. But they can restrict its use by Berkeley police and by university police when they patrol Berkeley streets. Some also said its use is of particular concern because of the November 9th beatings by university police of Occupy Cal students and faculty. Berkeley Council Member Jesse Aragin. We can give direction to our city manager and police about whether we will use it or not. Um, we could set a policy around the use of equipment. We've done that in cases of whether we should use helicopters, for police operations, whether we sh- whether police should use pepper spray, whether they should use other non-lethal munitions. Ardegin said he will offer the council guidelines on restricting use of the armored vehicle. The Albany Council hasn't publicly addressed the issue, and most university students are away on summer break. Police Chief Meehan said he does not know when the vehicle will arrive. Judith Scher, FSRN, Berkeley.